Hi, I'm Nigel. You may know me from the TV. Now, as you can see, I'm black. I was born and grew up in this country, the United Kingdom, but my parents were born and grew up in the Caribbean. My mum, dad, aunties and uncles moved here from a Caribbean country called Guyana. There are over two million black people just like me living in the UK. Many of us moved here years ago and we've worked really hard to make a difference to the lives of people that live here. This is the story of just one of them. The marvellous Mary Seacole. Today we remember Mary because a long time ago she made an amazing journey. All the way from her home in the Caribbean, first to this country, Britain, and then right across Europe to a place called Crimea. Mary went there because of a war, and during the year she spent there, close to the fighting, she was able to look after many of the soldiers. Mary was born over 200 years ago in 1805 in Jamaica, an island in the Caribbean. Her father was a soldier from Scotland and her mother was Jamaican. Mary's mother was a healer, meaning she knew how to treat sick people using traditional African and Jamaican methods. When Mary was young, she would watch her mother and copy her healing skills, practicing on her own toy dolls. By the time Mary was 12 years old, she was helping her mother for real. And in 1853, when Mary was much older, she used her skills to treat a lot of people suffering from a nasty disease called cholera. 1853 was also the year a war broke out in a part of the world called Crimea. One of the countries fighting in this war was Britain. Jamaica was a British colony which means that it used to be ruled by Britain. So, Mary wanted to help the British soldiers in the war. She had heard that they were not well cared for, so she travelled to England and asked to become one of the nurses looking after the soldiers. But Mary was told no, her help wasn't needed. So instead, Mary used her own money to travel to Crimea. It was a long and difficult journey. When she got there, Mary set up what she called the British Hotel. It was a simple building where British soldiers could come for a meal and be looked after. And during her time in Crimea, Mary also helped some of the soldiers injured on the battlefield. Mary became so popular with the British soldiers that they called her Mother Seacole. And after the war ended, she returned to London, where she lived until she passed away in 1881. For over a hundred years, it seemed as though everyone had forgotten about Mary. Then, nurses from the Caribbean who had moved to the UK started visiting Mary's grave in London. People rediscovered Mary's story. After much campaigning, in 2016, a statue of Mary was unveiled at a hospital in London. Mary is now rightly remembered as an extraordinary person who lived an exciting life and helped care for many people. Mary Seacole was born in Jamaica in 1805. Her mother was a healer and Mary learned all her healing skills from her. In 1853, Mary travelled to England and then on to Crimea where there was a war. She set up the British Hotel to provide help and care for the British soldiers involved in the war. And today we celebrate Mary Seacole as one of the extraordinary women of British history. <laughs>